Hello, and welcome to a Level 88 special report, Talking with Interesting People. I'm Joyce Blow, and in today's segment, we're introduced to a fascinating human being who's claimed he's solved a worldwide epidemic. Our lead correspondent sat down with this person to learn more. Let's go to that interview now. Hello, everyone. I'm Richard Creme, and I'm here with a very special individual who has solved an ongoing crisis that has affected millions of people, world hunger. Please introduce yourself. Well, that's correct, Dick. I, uh, I have done a lot of great things for a lot of great people. And my name, of course, is Giorgio Sonis, the T in my last name, Silent. Thank you for sitting down with me, Giorgio. So how is it that you came to be? Well, there's a couple of interesting theories behind this. Um, I think some of them are a bit fat fantasy, but uh, the two that uh, intrigue me the most is um, Number one, I was born legally brain dead. This is tragic. I'm telling you right now, Dick, so tragic. But fortunately for me, things come into your life and make things better. My mother latched on tight. God rest her soul, I was latched on tight one night. And uh, I bit her down a little bit too hard on her nibble. She dropped me on a bug zapper. And uh, when she did, the genius was born. The, uh, the other story, which uh, I... I romanticized a bit is that I was accidentally genetically engineered as the love child of both Tony Soprano and Liza Minnelli. I haven't been able to prove it in court, but I'm going to, I swear to f***ing God. Wow. Liza, huh? Amazing. So tell us, how is it that you solve world hunger? Well, there's been a lot of fetus attempts to this and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's really not that hard, Dick. All you have to do, just think about it. Go out in the world and feed some people. Just last Tuesday, I went down to the library and fed three people. They were sitting on a bench. I walked up to them and I said, hey, do you want some food? You look hungry. They were like, you're damn right we want some food. What's your name, kid? I told them, my name's Giorgio Sonis. I can go out in the world and show you just how we do it. Would you like that, Mr. Cream? Though he made me feel uncomfortable and angry, the more time I spent with Mr. Sonus, the more I realized he believes he is saving the world. Who am I, Richard Creme, to tell him otherwise? Let's go. I tried real hard to dispel those. I mean, after all, I don't even know truly who my mother is. Holy shit. There's one right there. Hey, little guy, scoot the f over. Here you go, have a drink. It's on Giorgio. Don't worry about it. Open that, that sack up. Thanks, Dick. Get some peanut butter. Yeah, open your palm there. Let me see what else I got in Santa's sleigh here. Let me talk to my guy here for a minute. Dick, f off. That's some good peanut butter, eh? Today's a good day. We saved a life. I masturbated twice. There's a lot of people with a lot of arrogance in this world. I'm sure you should not one of them. It's good to be humble. There, there, little guy. There, there. Moving on. So when you're not solving world hunger, what does a day bring Giorgio? Well, first off, Dick, the day doesn't bring Giorgio anything. Giorgio brings the f***ing day. Let's be clear on that, okay? If I decide that the sun rises early or it goes down early, that's because I said so. And let's make another thing clear. It will go up a little bit late on Sunday and go down a little bit early. Okay, do you have any hobbies? Ton of them, Dick. Actually, I'm the king of Baki ball. I Baki like nobody's business. Baki! Furthermore, 
I am the one and only man to fly one of my 14,000 in tree kites into the gyrosphere. All right now! I'm also a world record holder in fishing. Love to fish. I hold the world record for the largest tadpole ever caught at 3.3 pounds. You can take that to the bank. I have a pond. It more like a mud puddle, but it is a pond nonetheless. That is astonishing. I envy your record, sir. As you know, there's much speculation as to where you're from. Could you please elaborate? First off, Cream, I had no idea that there was any kind of speculative nature on exactly where I existed from. As I mentioned earlier, which you seem to just totally ignore, I was born potentially in a, in a laboratory, courtesy of Tony Soprano and her, her loveliness, Liza Minnelli. Now, I'm not going to get into too many other polliculars, but there is the potential that I was born elsewhere. They don't call me the boy from Bangladesh for no reason. I'm the first Brooklyn baller to be ever born in the Middle East. I grew up in Greek town, Greece. You can believe it. I swear to God, I've been there, done that. Born there, sometimes. Then, moved on to South Africa. That's where I developed this really keen accent. So, from there, that's when I finally decided with my mother that we were gonna come to the United States. We smuggled our way in from Canada and for some reason had to hop the United States into Mexico to run up with the coyotes from Mexico. And that's why I landed in New Mexico. In New Mexico, I finally made my way to the Bronx. Thank you for clearing that up. What are some inspiring things that you would tell someone that wants to change the world? Dick, that is the first great question you've asked me all day. Thank you so much for being a professional for once in this interview. Um, you know, the, the one thing about saving the world is that it's incredibly hard to do. You cannot lose yourself. You know, some people get caught up in this message that they're trying to pronounce to the world. And that makes it really hard. And all they really have to do is get out there and help people. So it's not that hard. So what's next for Giorgio? Any plans for the future? We got a ton of plans for the future, Dick. Tons. The Giorgio Sonas Foundation is thriving. We've got money coming in in stacks. I think I counted yesterday at least three billion. Finger counted it. I don't even use those machines. I don't believe in them. They're slightly inaccurate and they don't exactly bring you the exact dollar amount. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter where the money's coming in from, could be counterfeit, I've already said that. But at the end of the day, it's about helping people. That's what we're doing here at the Giorgio Sonis Foundation. So what are we doing next, you ask? What are we doing next? We've got AIDS, we got diabetes, we're gonna fix religion. We're gonna make sure everybody in this world knows that Santa Claus is real, okay? I've been to the pole, I met Rudolf. He's got a red nose and he's a moose. I went down the street at the pole with Miss Claus and met the snowman that talks. You know what the secret to having a snowman that talks is? They told me, you use a dead squirrel instead of a carrot for the nose. Giorgio, thank you for the hospitality. I think we all learned a lot of lessons from you today. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Uh, not, not a problem, Dick. I could tell everybody learned a ton from me today. You know, I'm an empath. And I could tell at the beginning of our conversation, I would go out on a ledge and, and say, you are a downright shitty person. But uh, by the end, I think you would learn just as much as everybody else. And I think what I've brought you is pure joy, like a cult leader or a dictator. I think I've done things for you that will not be expressed in the amount of time you have left on this earth. But if you had more time like someone like myself, I think you could truly grow from a shitty person to a halfway decent pizza boy or something, I don't know. I would just like to take a moment and address the world. If you truly want to be my apprentice, 
All you have to do is visit my website. I'm quite certain it's scrolling across my nipples as we speak. Go to my website. You're going to enter your social security number, a recent bank statement, your credit card information, donate tree the $700. And if I think you qualify after my extensive background check, I'll bring you on and you will work for me for free. As always, may time be with you. I'm Richard Creme. Good morrow. This is another take. Okay, we'll do that. God damn it. I can bock you like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all learned a lot of lessons from you today. <laughs> if I if I deem it sets early like it will on Sunday,